What's up guys? This is the Brightman I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what's been going on, we are still pretty much bashing our heads in the Persia Baghdad region. And Persia's been sending lots and lots of troops through to try and raid. We can't move we can't slash won't move the garrison out from Persia. The Persian rebels have been generated, but that's a pretty poor um poor um per, uh, uh, rebel army. And if anything, it keeps the happiness up, so it means that this will slowly tick down, which I think will be pretty good. To be honest, we could even tax them and earn some cash. And but yes, we took the city of Tbilisi, which is now heavily in revolt, because they really dislike us. Monsieur better go through the go through the motions. Let's start. See, upgrading farms is a good cheap way of spending money. But let's make sure there's nowhere else more worthwhile to spend it. Sharon's still on the march to... well, it's on the march to Moscow. Yeah, let's upgrade this well, it's here on the border in Istanbul. I'm trying to get rid of the last orthodox um, influence, but to be honest, I'm tempted to actually just move them out. We no longer have any religious happiness. Religious, religious unhappiness. Hmm. So we could try and upset things down here. Especially if we convert Bulgaria more into Islam and we'll let them force them to rebel. We might even send the priest east to deal with to help deal with some of these guys. But before we go too far, let's go take out this remaining Georgian army before they just start rebelling and causing lots of problems in our territory we've already got the persians to do that for us so we don't really need any more help in causing problems mm, pretty good terrain so let's take our guns deploy them up on this hill Form our battle line with all of our musket troops, strong and weak. Get ready to push them up. Line up all our melee troops right behind them, roughly, right behind them. Split up our chasing down units. Let's get ready to immediately order them all to Mainly because I can see what's gonna happen, my is gonna blow their heads off. Yep, it <laughs> killed one feline. Actually, they've got lots of cavalry, so that's going to be quite a simple thing to break up. Yeah, Feline Musketeer is going to get charged by my cat by their cavalry, but I don't really care. Send in the Feline. Skirmish cavalry's starting business. remember they are just skirmish cavalry so they can't really hold down a charge and these tatars poor souls present fire Chase down their infantry. Their cavalry is 
then it's more of a nuisance and B we're, we're much less likely to actually be able to kill it. Hot fire with the artillery. Stop these guys from firing. Awesome. Did someone come back? They did. So quickly are at firing. Yeah, kill the Tartars if you like. No, nope, don't chase them down. Conveniently, they're actually running in towards my cows for that. But who we want to kill are these infantry units. Uh, there's one back there that's going to make it. Man, these are colonial militia, so I'm not really bothered about them. Line up and it's probably going to rout. Yeah. Everyone go over here to help take out this last. Ah, oh, damn. One that made it to the line. Hundred sixty-six men remaining. Yeah, so they're not dead yet, which is frustrating. And our army needs a big influx of cash to help chase them down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I saw a flash of red. Yes! Britain's taken Zahedan. Well, we're at war with them anyway, so our Persia garrison's going to march and attack them there, lest they use it as a jumping off point to attack us. Nothing major happening in elsewhere on the map. Venice has Michigan, as per usual, because they usually trade for it. Spain took Florida. The Dutch kicked out the French down. Oh, no, they didn't. Sorry, I was getting my areas mixed up. But I could just see the little bit of red on the map and thought, hang on. Although I'm willing to bear, they must have traded for it, because they've got no garrison at all. Hmm. Don't worry, we will take them out. Left to demands from Georgia. Yeah, Persia have rebelled. Georgia on strike. Bavaria has been destroyed. Still building up our troops here. I don't want to march them up to them because they might force us to cross the river. But even then, we will have an artillery unit. So even if we do, we can just defend. Kidoki, let's check our tech. Three more turns till we get advanced European infantry. Or European style infantry, which is pretty cool. So let's see. Yeah. Once we've cleared out the Persians, I'd like to do a big... Well, once we've got our battle lines secure... What I'd like to do is kind of redefine my armies, so start to get rid of the Fellain Musketeers and start to fill in more advanced infantry unit types. Yeah, they're still sending troops west to try and interfere with us. Uh, don't. It wouldn't. Mm, I don't know if it would be a bridge battle or a garrison battle. I want to say bridge, but if I do it and I'm wrong, I'm screwed. Well, no, to be honest, it must be bridge, because we get no garrison forces. Let's try it. If it's a garrison if it's a garrison battle, that would be frustrating. To be honest, it probably will be a garrison battle, and I've screwed it up. <laughs> but I am intrigued. The possibility... Yeah, it's a battle. Dang it. 
Oh well. I would have thought if it was City Battle they would have given us a garrison, but I guess not. Not overly concerned, because they've got lots of levy. They've got lots of levy, but it's all just... Lots of it is chaff. So let's go take him out. Do a bit more something like that. So these guys can provide a bit more mutual fire support using the um, the arcs. Although they do need to push up a bit more. Should be in range. To be honest, keep my camels running around, so then it means that their entire army isn't focused on attacking our line at the same time. So the dervishes are a bit of a concern. You guys are waiting for being hit on the flank. That makes sense. Even if we lose Baghdad, it'd be more of an annoyance than a direct problem. to them. So I'd like to give my other units a bit more support, but by the looks of it, I might be asking a bit much. You might have to go support this unit, this Aureli. So those guys go help free up this unit. My bowmen to f no, they're firing, but I think they must be killing a lot of their own men. Let's get my camels into the back of these dervishes. Good. See, it says they're winning slightly, but I think it's probably because they were. Look at that. Boom! Camels out of the way. They could they could come back, so there's no guarantees at all with this kind of stuff. In fact, let's send my camels to chase them down. And I 
do hope this unit beats the levy. They should do. They outnumber them and they're not... And they are beating them now. They're shattered, so they're, they're definitely not coming back. Let's abandon them. My camels are too slow to actually help. Smash into the bowmen. Free up another unit to go help this unit over here, the levy. Good. So I think it's good I did go all in on, on the, the melee combat. Dervishes have come are coming back, but you know, now they're very much against a much stronger army. All of you hit that last levy unit. Run these guys up into a battle line. Yeah, these guys have done great. Yeah, they're shattered now, so it's start to march you guys back over here. Both the units of dervishes have come back. I wanted to see if we can get some musket fire off. Levy towards the back, it's just sat doing nothing. I think these dervishes have just realised they are getting screwed up. And they're shattered. Yeah, and they've routed. Try continue just to see if we can get our camels anywhere useful at the last moment. They're probably, I mean, over those dervishes probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. Fortunately, these guys are routing right into the corner of the map, so we'll at least get some of them. There you go. Phew, I was worried for a second there. Um, really, I should have realised that their strength... God, I got those experience. <laughs> they went from nothing to just really elite units. All because they got hundreds of kills. Back you go. <laughs> but yeah, I do want to build up the Baghdad force to be more of a fill a, a sweeper up role. They can raid there as much as they like. There's nothing to raid. <laughs> um, so when I push east, well, I want to push east to make it up to the Indian front lines. Then I also want to fortify the bridges. I don't want to fight in India yet. Yep. So they're still raiding in Mosul. Okay, let's take. This guy. Let's spend some money to fix him up. Let's spend some money to fix you guys up. Is Tbilisi chilled out yet? No. I mean, they're not going to chill out for a while. Spend a bit of cash trying to fix them. Let's take Mr. Mehmet to go and attack. 
Goddess, that's an auto result if I've ever seen one. And can you guys march up and take them? Well, you will soon. Sweet. You need to pretty much stay the way you are. Not fixed the school yet, but we've got a coffee house. Let's cheer you right up. Honestly, yeah, raiding, raiding in the farmlands, and that's okay. Let's hit enter. So there's going to be a Georgian rebellion, but we've got a good city. We've got like a, a good um, set of walls to defend. So if they do try it, they'll be screwed. But the army to the north, I want to take out that, that last Georgian stack and then go hit Azerbaijan. And then that should be my front lines relatively clear. Obviously, you do see that Persian army coming in. If they wanted to attack, I would not choose to do it. We've got Venice moving up. Opportunity to intercept. We're absolutely going to take it. We, apparently we lost 300 men trying to kill them, so we must have just suicided into them. So we just let, they're pirates, so just let them raid. Persia is happy with us, so we're not, we haven't got to worry about them getting any stronger. Let's take Mr. Mimit over here. Where are the Georgian rebels? There they are. Yeah, nah. Take a few turns, but we'll get them. I can't repair the Royal Palace, because that is expensive. But we are going to rebuild the craft workshop. We can take this army, go hit Macho and Sari, which I might just... Yeah, I'm the water. That's the guts of the army we just decapitated. So you guys, replenish as much as you can. March up to Ardabil. Then this garrison force here, that's pretty weak. You are enough to go and knock them out. Then if we can... We're going to recruit a unit of Muslim just to run south to kick them out of Basra, and then that is the actual our bulk of our the bulk of our territory is actually um, is actually ours and protected. So let's pick another fairly cheap industrial tech. I mean, you might want to go down this route, maybe join stock companies. Let's go back down the physiocracy route. We have built this to start converting the Georgian population, but it's going to take some time. So it might have been a bad call, but I'm pretty sure these guys can hold on. Um, yeah, well, these guys to march up and take Ardabil, then they'll take Yerevan. And then we'll have a nice front line. Let's hit end turn. Brits are being sneaky. But they are the next. They are the next. Uh, one of the ne one of the next targets. Actually, heading east, because you have to take that city, and you also have to take Afghanistan. Unless I take Ardabil and try and make peace with Persia, but I doubt that's going to be very likely. Really, it'd be nice to have a defined front line. And then I can spend some turns upgrading my infrastructure and my economy. Yep, just let them raid. That's okay. So these guys can have some money to replenish. Let's send the mob down to free Basra soon. Let's do some rebuilding and then look all these lots of buildings we can actually upgrade and roads roads all over the place so i think i might upgrade you to a well, who's the most poor growing very poor 
Okay, we need to be very selective about where we upgrade. March goes up to our, up to our bill. Let's rebuild the school. Let's get the research going again. Let's repair the farm. Let's repair the mine. To be honest, I can probably... Yep. Just go attack the pirates. Just, just attack them. Spend a bit of cash or the rest of our cash trying to replenish. So we got a European doctrine. What that means is that we can get some pretty cool looking units. Which like Sekban Janissary Riflemen, which look pretty damn awesome. I don't think I can actually recruit any more of them until I get a new uh, military building techs. Varro Janissary Infantry Guards. Wait, I've already got those. I must need to research my way down this track more. So, Kayseri, you can go on to... Well, oh, Royal Mammoth Guards might be a good idea. Hmm. Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards. Interesting. I am tempted to let them... to let this guy fill up some of the easier techs down here so I don't go too... so I can just unlock more units. So obviously these guys are causing trouble. Not a major problem. Everything's been rebuilt as much as we can. You guys might march north. Because eventually this army I would like to fold into this guy's force and get rid of some of these Feline musketmen. I like I would combine them and then get rid of the weakest unit. You've still got some religious unrest. Obviously you're okay. But you're about to get some more clamour for reform. I would like to sit here and keep him converting. Okay, let's hit in turn. Yeah, I have knocked my policies down, so I am going to have some reduction in cash at least in the short term but i think well yeah you guys have converted me knocking <laughs> knocking them right down at the start just helps so much at least unless you need the cash good good old crimea still alive Don't worry, Knights of St. John. I can see you there, still alive. You will suffer for this. Yeah, pirates trying to be pirates. Yeah, just repair that. Just to help keep converting the population. But eventually they will just be happy with me being there. It's this army that's now fully kitted out. Hold on to it for now. You can go out and hopefully, hopefully kill these pirates. Or pirates. Rebels. You march down to Zahedon, but they can't really recruit much of any consequence. Let's repair these buildings just to get rid of the ugliness on the campaign map. Awesome. You guys march over to join them. Yeah, burning through lots of turns, but it's mainly because we have to... We want to keep uh, growing. Okay, actually cracking down. Repression is going down. Yeah, don't worry, you'll be fine. Boot these guys out of our port. Awesome. So now Baghdad has got trade opened up once more. So our rake's going to be useful as a bit of an early warning system to help us get ident help us get some intelligence on what they've got based on their various positions. But really, it would be nice to not be fighting so many damn battles all the time. 
so I can spend that cash, <laughs> the cash I'm earning on upgrading my industry rather than um, replenishing troops. Oh, no, they're going to go raid, so I'm going to dip dispatch the smaller stack I've got following up. They're going to go and try and intercept them before they have a chance to do anything annoying. Which, sure as you're born, they will do. If you know where that came from, and what movie that's from, I appreciate it. Um, Okie dokie. Lots of this stuff in the Americas we don't really care about. <laughs> Let's do this, Georgian rebels. They've got three units that can attack the walls. They've got one artillery piece. They have got... Um, they also have one... Throw three cavalry units, which... <laughs> yeah, basically this is just going to go all, all sorts of wrong for them. already is going to provide so much so much gunfire so who's that deploying the wall that's you guys let's deploy our simonies to help provide some let's start doing this good Cavalry outside. Bishopadukes, Azars, and Whiskers of Souls. Just something like this. I mean, realistically, it's kind of overkill. Let's get a general inside. Good. Poor devils. So we have this section on the left. Yep. Let's probably put some units like that. And then another unit grand is here. Semis can just stay there. Well, Tulu is doing a good job of missing, but to be honest, the pain is going to come when they get close. Because look how many men we've got lining this wall. Oh, here they come. This guy, he's not even firing his gun. Must be a pacifist. He's got a brother in the light in, in the Georgian army. <laughs> Missed a lot. And these guys are making ready to engage this unit of rebels. Come on, shuffling around. No, I don't want to stand here. Oh, that was funny. It's not destroying them as much as you would expect a European unit to do. And they've only killed 36 men. Because trying to make it up. Can't blame him for trying. <laughs> yeah, then the semi reshuffling and organising around as soon as they they get into contact with them. Oh, 
That's all of almost all of their infantry routing already. There we go. Massacre the devils that have made it up the wall. Little house. Take up no, don't shoot at them. I mean, my men have climbed down the wall to get them. They're playing silly buggers, these guys as well. So I want the guns to focus on the... I want the guns to, sh to open up. Which it seems like they didn't want to do. They've decided, no, you know what? We're not going to do that. How odd. I've got one, at least they've got one gun going. Okay, you guys stand here. If you're not going to fire, I'm more than happy to let some of you die. See, they're not even doing anything now. Now they've now these guys have made up their mind. I'm happy to let some of them die if they're going to cause us problems like this. I am very ruthless. Slide infantry unit came back. Not for very long. Oh, don't say they're aiming. Okay, right, you guys get out of the way. I want you to just aim at them. Or if not, I'll just use my own gun. So I'm speeding up because this is just going to be... lame. Because it looks like they are going to try and... Yeah, I'm going to leave the first order up there. They shouldn't have uh, been screwy. I mean, I can't... Okay, fire the other side of the wall. Boom! Looks like these guys, to be honest, they just don't want to. Well, that's it, everyone. Sally out. Force them to do battle rather than sniping at range. <laughs> they could climb down the stairs. The ropes at the front. The gunners have decided. They would have run out of there. Present themselves to be a better target for my infantry. How lovely. I mean, yeah, they're going to march straight into my infantry firing. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm not just any infantry. I'm musketeers. Shot to bits, I suppose. Just 
try chase down the Tartars, I guess. Let's just keep the Delhi Horsemen chasing down different targets. <laughs> God. Uh, CJI is so dumb. So we've got craft workshops in Mesopotamia. Because this, Baghdad could be a real money earner. So let's bring these guys to about here. God, he can spend so much money in these regions. We can only upgrade one of these a turn. You're very poor. You're growing. You are very poor. Meager yield. Average yield. Oh, what do I build roads? Oh, what do I upgrade in Esfahan? Or do I go back to garrison the city? Because right now, having visibility down to the border is good enough. God, there's so much stuff we can upgrade. Mines, ports, vineyards. Um, industry's probably the best place to start. But that doesn't mean we can upgrade this and then not very much else. I go for the Sultan's Observatory, not to get the research points, but the turn plus turn, the gain in turn wealth, the gain, the gain in town wealth per turn. God, you're growing really quick. Forty-eight growth. And you haven't even. I think all your towns. Sinop. One more, one more town to grow, and you've already got one, two, three, three industrial buildings. A really good. A religious happiness building, which is helping us tremendously. I think I, did you have any more towns? Villages are not growing. Okay, let's pick up the road. Or... I think I have to go the, pick up the farm to increase the population growth rate. Yeah, right now we're suffering from a problem of having too many demands for the money we're earning. But that's good, because it means our money's going to go up really quickly in the short term. Yeah, Aust Austria is building up an army. There's no denying that. But I would like to spend the time I've got upgrading my industry and so on. In order to provide more... Well, more stable economy. Well, more stable, profitable. That's that's the truth of the matter. Okie dokie. It's really nice not having to worry at all about the Barbary States. Instead, they're just going to go around annoying everyone else. Yeah, let them raid, because every turn they get more and more happy with me. So got 4,000 a turn. So now we can actually build, upgrade two industry buildings at once which is really big create the iron mine increases unhappiness whereas these do at a certain point let's go for the iron workshop let's upgrade the small madrasa to a large madrasa Actually, that means like I can spend this agent somewhere else. So let's take him over to Yerevan. Because now Istanbul is slowly growing in religious population. In, 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 it, it's slowly growing. It's Islamic religious pop. That's pretty good. It's actually going to start getting happiness, bone of, ha happiness benefits from it now. 
Okie dokie. That's pretty much all we can do. It's been a oh, we can't actually pull we can't actually Find him. build anything of any value there or reinforce Find it. Still anything in. of any value. Let's put them here Flash. just to reinforce this fight in case it kicks off. Let's hit end turn again. This will be the last end turn because right now I'm happy to burn through easy end turns and overrun the part if you've got a clear objective like well you're not fighting battles and instead you're spending money on industry and economy and all that good stuff. Yeah, everyone's coming to steal my precious Ottoman technology. Good. The Barbary states go off to interfere with my enemies. <laughs> oh, that's lost more. We lost way more men than we would, than we should. But oh well. So research, join stock companies. Yeah, you carry on going down this track. I think that's okay. Especially as I can't actually upgrade you yet. Oh, I can actually. I've just never really had the money. All about spending it on industry. I can't, I can't create ports. The fishing fleets. Everything. Now I'm probably going to have to sink some into reinforcing this army. No, that's too much money. You're okay doing what you're doing. Um, don't upgrade the school. I mean, Esfahan makes more money for me than Persia does, than Baghdad does. You don't even have good roads either. Okay, let's build. Maybe Bay's Mansion. Sultan's Observatory, that's a good idea. I got 1200 smackaroonies with which I'll upgrade the farm rather than the madrasa, rather than the coffee house. The coffee house. You're going to continue your march over to Yerevan. Because eventually they will just surrender themselves to me. Yeah, now our wealth should start to ramp up dramatically each turn. We're starting to build lots of new industry. And I really want to build out I really want to roll out more upgrades in terms of roads. Spanish have pushed up and taken Savannah from the Cherokee. That's pretty big. Persians are scooting along, they're gonna try and attack me in the med, no doubt. Ooh, and the garrison here is going to sally out. So I think that's a perfect time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.